Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 5 of My Dress Up Darlings. Let's go ahead and get started. And 3, 2, 1, hold on. And 3, <laughs> 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, but it's perfect, though. I know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. You need to go out in the open in the public. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Yeah, you might as well. Everything's done. Mm-hmm. 
This is what happens when you get your hair done. You're like, aw. What's wrong? Hmm? <laughs> You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. You know, right?
It's like a date. Yeah, unfortunately. Let's keep going. Jesus Christ. Yeah, plus the fact is you are wearing all black. It's sunny outside. Mm -hmm. She needs water. Yeah, unless you want to carry her. God damn, don't you hate when that happens? It's like the worst thing ever.
Yeah, and next time, don't wear two. Just wear one, please. Like, seriously, that is a little too much oomphage. <laughs> That's why I love her. She's still fucking relatable, baby. Oh, I bet she did too. Mm-hmm. Go on. Mm-hmm. You didn't think this is a one-time thing, right? <laughs> of course. Aww. I think you can. You can literally buy anything online, so yeah, I think you can. He is already knocked out. Like, oh, can you imagine if he moves? Oh my god. I think he's gonna say it.
trying not to scream. Because people got mad at me last week for screaming. But it's okay. I don't care. It's still... <laughs> It was perfect. It was everything that I needed in this episode and more. Thank you. That was the one part I was looking for. That's it. Mwah. Like, yes. Let's go. Oh, uh, but she's going to be so interesting now. Because I feel like now, um, from what I had remembered, like, the this dynamic between the two is so going to fucking change after this now. Like, oh, because... I'm crying even though I'm not crying, but like I'm fangirling way too much inside my brain right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is a good episode. Like, oh, she looks so pretty, so fucking perfect. Like, oh, but yes, please next time when you do, <laughs> use, you know the fun bags. Please just use one. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine how like with cosplay how much you need and such and everything i mean you know for me as what i am i, I think there's like a there was a point in time where i kind of did want to cosplay this i think this was like what 20 16 16 17 yeah yeah and i think this was kind of around the time when i watched Kanasuba. I think I've said this before. And somebody wanted me. They, they had asked me my size. One. And then two, they were like, yeah, you should. And then that was when, like, one of the most, like, at the time, it didn't really seem. Well, no. At the time, to me, like, it was harmful in a way. But now it, it's kind of one of those things that I think about. And I just, like, put in the back of my head and say, like, I don't really give a fuck. When it comes to black people cosplaying and such, and there's always the stigma around it, and they're always saying, like, oh, you're, like, cosplaying the black version of this character, da 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 da, da. We can't just say, oh, hey, I'm cosplaying such and such. It always has to be da 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 da, da of character. And so I think at the time, because somebody, like I said, somebody was like, oh, like you should do darkness and stuff because of the fact that, you know, like big boobs, shit like that. I probably would have found like a long weave, like as ponytail, except I, instead of making it blonde, I would have made it black um, and such and did like a whole bunch of things. But somebody was like, but um, darkness is white and she's black. And I was like, are, are we really going there? Like, seriously? So I, I literally was like, oh my god, this is why I hate people sometimes, because it's like, oh, you can't do this, because, oh, you're black, and you can't do that. No. I feel like, really? Really? Shut the fuck up. But, okay. Going back into this episode, like, literally seeing her just do the cosplay and taking pictures, like, oh, she looks so gorgeous, best girl, I love her so damn much. And once again, the episode week five into this show, and this girl is so freaking relatable once again. This is why I love her so damn much when I read the manga and everything. And I'm like, yes. Everybody still sees, once again, why I love her so much. Because <laughs> I feel like by the end of this, I'm so buying, like, the mangas and, like, probably merch of her and such. Because I I've been looking. I've already found, like, a couple. But, you know, because that third party website and everything. But at the same time, I've also been spending money on this gotcha game that I'm playing. And it's just so freaking annoying because I want my best girl to come home and she won't come home. You know how I feel? Yeah, yeah. But now that he said that, it, it's going to be very interesting. The dynamic is already changing between these two because of this episode and everything. So now I'm hoping that we go to Maudine's POV of the next few episodes and how she sees him and such because yes having gojo as it because they're both main characters and this is their love story and stuff it's very cute to see both sides and have like cute little moments with them and everything and i'm just like 
Uh, <laughs> try once again, try not to scream a fangirl because I don't want people on my ass like it was last week. But honestly, at the end of the day, I don't really give a shit. But it was still so fucking cute. Like, I can't. <laughs> I want to cry so damn badly right now. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode five of my dress up, darling. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Episode 6. Bye, guys.